Hi guys, welcome to Tutorial Race and in this video tutorial, we will be learning CSS. So, what is CSS? First of all, CSS introduction and then what is CSS? The question is, what is CSS? CSS or cascading style sheet is its full form is cascading style sheet is a plain text file which is used to control the design or layout of the website. CSS describes how the HTML document layout will look like. HTML elements like div or table cannot be formatted, cannot be styled without using styling. So another question is when CSS was introduced because you know when HTML was started, CSS was nowhere in the scene. CSS was later introduced. And CSS was introduced in 1996. As you know, the HTML was started in around 90s, but later in 1996, CSS was introduced with HTML and it was republished with many more modifications in 1999. So another question is how website was designed before CSS came into being? Before CSS came into being, HTML pages were designed with built-in HTML tags such as font size, font color, font page, etc. So let me show you what I mean. Let's start with this to not page. I'm using sublime text here. So say HTML, then head, head, and then title, title, and then title close. Welcome to HTML. Now, head, sorry, and then body will start here, body and then body close and then finally HTML close. Suppose I have a text here, say uh, H1 okay, and then H1 close. Welcome to CSS Word. Before, so let's save it uh, somewhere. CSS, then I would like to yeah, CSS tutorial. And then better, I will save here. Okay, so first dot HT and then. Okay, so uh, now let me show you this in browser. So how does it look like? Let's go to and then try video process. This is finally this one. You can see here it's showing now I want to format it that means I want to change the color then what I will have to do if I want to change its color then I'll have to go to here and then I'll write here before CSS okay font color equal to red and then font close font close now let's check it with how does it look like now let's test it into the browser now the color is changed so before css was introduced developer or designer used to use this kind of tags now if wants to if the designer wanted to increase the font size then the designer will have to write size equal to say 5 or 7 or 8 
So now let's see what it decides. Mm. Yes, so the font size has increased as you can see. But it was not convenient because suppose if once again I want to use HTML H1 tag here H1 and then uh, this is another time where I am using H1 tag. Okay, and again I close this H1 tag. Now if I want to make its color and size similar then once again the designer will have to write this code here so this technique was used before css came into being and you can see if h1 normally h1 is uh, used only once in a page but i'm just giving an example if suppose h1 has been used at more than 20 times so in that case at every now before every h1 tag uh, or this tag the designer or developer would have to write this code again and again so that was waste of time and that was also waste of unnecessary that was you know unnecessary code increase also so with the arrival of css this problem was solved which we will see later So that is why here the before CSS came into being HTML pages were designed with built-in HTML tag such as font size, font color, font face, etc., which we have just uh, which I have just shown you in example what I mean. So what are the advantage of using CSS? CSS was revolution in the world of web design, as you saw in the previous example. You know if you have to write the same thing then the same code you have to repeat again and again which was waste of time and also the resources so below are few of the benefits of css the first one is css controls layout of documents from one single style sheet page i will show you this later in this example what i mean second one is more precise control of layout okay in the first case uh, you know with the help of css you write css code only at one place and you can uh, use the same css in different pages the second one the more precise control of layout you know this normally works with a pixel so one pixel two pixel three pixel you can you know move from left or right or center so it is more uh, you know, with the help of css you can adjust your uh, html pages precisely exactly the same way the way you like and another advantage is that you know you can apply different media types in different layers for example if you want to make your website responsive then you will use uh, you know at that media uh, query uh, which is your property which is the uh, property of css3 so same way if you want to uh, you know control the size then you have to use uh, media screen and if you want to control the print then print etc so with the help of css you can use different uh, media types and another one is css saves times as you saw in the previous example you you, you earlier when before css was introduced uh, developer or designer will have to write same code again and again but with the help of css you can just write code once and you can call in as many as pages you wish and if you make changes in one page then it affects in all other pages wherever you have called or applied to and another thing types of cfs based on uses types of css based on uses so the first one is inline css the css code which is written inside the html tags are known as inline css another one is embedded css the css 
which region inside web pages and not inside tag it is called embedded css and it starts with style and closes with style and another one the last one is external css and this css which is written in separate file and called in any page is known as external css the file is saved with uh, css extension so i will see you in the next video and i will show you the examples what are these three types of css based on its usage so that you can understand it better so stay connected and see you in the next video thanks for watching